Michaela from Superior Science. Today we're going to be looking at kinetic and potential energy and the conservation of energy. Today we will also be making our very own cotton ball launchers. Before we get started today, I have a few questions for you to get you excited for the experiment. First of all, who here has ever stretched and launched a rubber band? Does the amount you stretch the band affect how far it goes? Why does the band snap back faster when it's stretched more? And do you think the rubber band has energy when it's being pulled, when it's launching through the air, or both? The law of conservation of energy, also known as the first law of thermodynamics, states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. The total energy of a system must remain constant, but energy can be transformed from one form into another. An example of conservation of energy is when a ball is dropped from an elevated surface. The ball begins with potential gravitational energy, and once dropped, that energy is converted into kinetic energy. There are many different types of energy, some examples being chemical energy, thermal energy, nuclear energy, electrical energy, and potential energy. The potential energy of an object is the energy based on the relative position of that object with respect to other objects, stresses, or electrical charge. This experiment deals with elastic potential energy. This type of energy is as a result of a force being applied to an elastic object in order to deform that object. The object remains deformed under that force, and once the force is released, the object may spring back to its original form. This deformation can be caused by twisting, compressing, or stretching an elastic object. An example of elastic potential energy is an archer stretching their bow. Lastly, kinetic energy is the energy an object possesses while in motion. You will need a pencil or a popsicle stick, two thin rubber bands, two empty toilet paper rolls or empty paper towel tube cut in half, tape, scissors, and cotton balls. Use scissors to cut a lengthwise slit down one of the toilet paper tubes. Squeeze the roll so that it becomes narrower, about one half the original diameter, and then tape around to hold in place. On the second toilet paper tube, cut two slits into one end about a quarter inch long and half an inch apart. Cut two more slits on the same end of the tube directly across from the first two. Ask a parent for some help here. Use scissors or a hole punch to punch two holes into the skinny tube. If you're using a popsicle stick, make narrower holes in the same shape as the popsicle stick. Make holes opposite to each other half an inch from the end so that you can pass the pencil or popsicle stick all the way through. Carefully push pencil or popsicle stick through the holes. Carefully loop one rubber band through the slits on one side so that it hangs from the cardboard piece in the middle. Put a piece of tape over the slits to reinforce the cardboard tab. Loop the other rubber band through the slits on the other side of the tube. When you're finished, the tube should have a rubber band hanging from each side. <laughs> Holding the rubber band tube so that the rubber bands are at the top, slide the narrower tube into the wider one with the pencil end at the bottom. Carefully loop each rubber band around the pencil. Hold the launcher slightly horizontal so the cotton ball doesn't fall out. Pull back on the pencil and release your cotton ball and watch it fly. 